Thank you for joining us again on today's room. I am Tamilore Akinkolie and these are the headlines we're tracking now. The National Union of Banks, Insurance and Financial Institutions employee has joined the Nigerian Labour Congress NLC to draw the attention of the federal government to the punishing economic situation in the country. The union discussed this in a circular dated September 2, 2023, signed by its General Secretary Mohamed Sheikh and addressed to all zonal consul's domestic committees. According to the bank employees, the industrial action was in line with the communique issued after the minute of the National Executive Council NEC of the NLC. And the crisis rocking the new Nigeria People's Party NNPP seems on ending as a faction led by Agbo Major as expelled Reb Yokokanto, the party's presidential candidate in the 2023 elections. Last Tuesday, the NNPP's board of trustees, led by Boniface Anibonam, founder of the party, suspended Kwan Kwanso over allegations of anti party activities. However, a faction of the party lawyer to Kwan Kwanso reversed the suspension. The former Kano governor has been directed to appear before the committee within five days of getting the invitation. And Philip Shaibo, the deputy governor of Edo State, has withdrawn the suit he filed at the Federal High Court to stop alleged plots by the state governor Godwin Obaseki to remove him from office. The deputy governor said that the decision to withdraw the suit comes after a series of meetings involving himself, Obaseki, and well meaning citizens of Edo State and Nigerians including party leaders, traditional rulers, and the Ag Bishop beneath of the Catholic Church. And after a long break, proceedings resumed on Monday morning at the coroner inquest of the circumstances surrounding the course of a 12-year-old student of Dowen College, Lekki, Sivesta Oromoni. At the proceeding, two students of the college who had earlier testified gave their testimonies afresh. The testimony was given behind closed doors to protect the identities of the minors. After the testimony, they were cross-examined by lawyers representing all the parties. And in business, the Nigeria Extractive Industries Transparency Initiative, NAITI, has announced that the country's earning from the solid mineral sector between 2007 and 2021 eats 814.6 billion naira. NAITI made this public in its latest 2021 industry report of the solid mineral sector on both stakeholders and lawmakers in Abuja. In the report, the agency also revealed that Nigeria received 193.6 billion naira from the solid mineral sector in 2021, an increase of 1.89-51.89% growth when compared to the 2020 revenue flows of 116.82 billion naira. And Ukraine's defense minister has submitted his resignation letter after Vladimir Zelensky removed him from his post on Sunday night in the biggest reshuffle by the president of his government team since Vladimir Putin's full scale invasion began. Oxy Vesnivok, whose ministry has been eased by corruption scandals, said he has written to the chair of the Ukraine's parliament confirming that he was stepping down. Appointed in November 2021, Resnikov played a key role in building good personal relations with Ukraine's international partners. And in sport, the Brazilian Football Federation has dropped Manchester United player Antony from the national team over assault allegation by Gabriel Cavillet, his former girlfriend. The Federation said the 23-year-old will be replaced by Gabriel Jesus after facts became public that needs to be investigated. Although Antonio described the report as false, police in Manchester and Sao Paulo are investigating the allegation. Thank you for watching. Join us at the top of the hour for more stories. I am Tamilore Akinkoliya.